Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bonacle review, and this one's on to the Visorax being a Zuko Rack and Odin Rack from 2005, of course. So, starting out with a Zuko Rack, of course. So, first off, the main color scheme of which, consisting of white and light, or I mean traditional blue for that. So kind of fitting to the ice theme of all the, or to the color schemes of all the ice elemented characters of Bionicle, of course. And so now, as starting out with uh, the little pinchers that, which of course each Viserac has different for each one, but however with these ones particular, kind of interesting case with them where they were also used on the, uh, Large Viserac in the Battle of Metro Nui playset, but and also interestingly used on any large Mindstorms set for that kind of interesting case for that. And as for this uh, back head piece of which, which I think might have come in other sets, but I'm not sure. But actually, it was to just this one. But yeah. And those, and of course, having the Borok eye teeth in it. But anyways, for that. And then, of course, like all the Vizorak, can press on that and make the pincher pinch in and outward. Of course, like if I look in words, see a few technic bits to it resting on this one gray uh, piece, beam like piece to that, always for the pinchers, and also a bit holding this extra long limb piece, but in white, which we also see on Holly and Nika in the uh, following year, of course, and then also do get a little hint of the. A Rituka spinner pieces in there. And what do you get the ripcord piece, but in black for that? And just fit that in and then pull hard and goes right up. Or And then as for the front limbs here, uh, which are comprised of mostly the Borok limbs in uh, blue, which we haven't seen since like uh, the Borok call back in 2003, of course. And then also do get the Viserac foot pieces, but in white. Nice to get in that color, of course. And then as for the uh, farther back, which have the, or back legs have sort of the uh, metro uh, piece, or otherwise, same build as the uh, red Viserac Volcarac, of course, but however, but the limb pieces are in, in traditional blue, which is great to use for mocking, and have the metro limb in white, and then the Viserac foot piece in white, of course. And that's about it with a super rack here. And then, and next to which is O, oh, or Unarak, of course. Which is kind of interesting color scheme of mostly black, the main color, and also accent color of a yellowish orange, which we also see on Kitangu, which was also in this wave of the sets, of course. So, like, as for the uh, pinchers here, which which were exclusive, which were all exclusive to it, of course, and of course, like the rest of which, pinch in and a pinch inwards, of course. And then, as for the uh, head back piece, of which also all exclusive to it, with sort of a 
cubic kind of look to it, but also it has the uh, Borak eye teeth, but in an interesting uh, uh, translucent yellow color scheme, which is a little darker than the traditional ones that the uh, Borak and Borak uh, Vought was uh, back in 2002 kind of did, where they were a brighter yellow, but this is a darker yellow, but at least this is still quite workable for mocks and such. And then as for the uh, center limb bit, uh, which first time in black for that. Okay, and also you have the Borak limb piece, but in this key orange color, uh, which first time in this color, obviously. And also the uh, Fitzgerald foot pieces, is, but in black, which did get used in a lot of sets afterwards. And then as for the back legs of which, which do have the shorter limb pieces, or the shortish hand connector bits instead of the elongated ones like all the others do. Uh, not sure why that is, but maybe to be a little different than the rest or something. And then as for, and then have a black blocky limb, and then ending off with another Bizarrack foot piece in black, of course. And I guess that's about it with this one, of course. So overall, I think these which are quite good sets for how they work. So, whereas for Unurak, which is, the really has some, quite some diversity to it, like the accent color of Keach Orange, kind of a cheapish way to get it, and also have the shorter limb pieces, obviously. And as for Stukurak here, which, although I think could have been a little brighter blue, which would be better, I think bright blue could have been better for that, even though Bogorak kind of did that, but at least this which kind of works out for, well for that. Even though most of the ice characters tended to have a uh, light blue in their color schemes. But, well, even though Gelu in 2009 Glatorian Legends had a dark blue in it, but yeah. And of course, Unurak here, which still does have, which still works out as a good parts pack of black and key orange, and, and of course both of which did have some exclusive pieces to that. Well, as for the pinchers, in Regardless if Sukurax wasn't exclusive for very long, of course. And of course, good to have some of the Viscerac foot pieces in white, of course. Yeah. And of course, the sets in general, for the price point, still quite good today, regardless of inflation and all, but yeah. And so now, if any of you are, I would still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and are still looking to get these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.